Okay, time now for Trending Tuesday, sponsored by our friends over at Elm City Market. And Jill, I mean, does anything really say fall like apples, caramel, and chocolate? Because I don't think so. It's the quintessential fall ingredients, right? Agreed. We headed to TikTok to find the latest viral recipe, and today we are making a caramel apple bark. How good does that sound? It sounds delicious. And as a reminder, Elm City Market, guys, moving October 2nd was their last day on Chapel Street. They will be reopening soon on Orange Street in the new building on the old New Haven Coliseum site. So just wanted to let you all know that, but let's jump into the ingredients and what you will need if you wanna try out this bark. So Granny Smith apples, you'll need about two of those. Those are the best option because they are tart and you can balance it out with the salty oh, nice. and the sweet. Now we also have semi-sweet chocolate chips that we are going to melt pretzels and 12 ounces of caramel. Yeah, and with those measurements, you can kind of do more or less. Right. If you want more chocolate, if you want more apples, it's not an exact science, but we do our best, right? That's right. So we pre-melted the chocolate. You could do it in the microwave. You could do it on the stove top. Voila. Voila. Melted chocolate. TV magic. All right, and the first thing you do is lay the chocolate down. Yes. We've got some wax paper here on a cookie sheet, and then Let's lay that down. And I will start cutting our Granny Smith apples here. You know, I guess you could do however size, like whatever size floats your boat in terms of these pieces. I like them a little smaller. Right. This is perfect. Another fun one you can probably incorporate uh, with the whole family. The kids could figure out how to do this. Um, so here we go. Perfect. And you can kind of a create of whatever shape you would like. Yeah. We kind of did a little rectangle. Just, we did a blob. A blob. Let's be real. A chocolate this blob. no shape. But hey, if you're doing this with your kids, you could do a cute little heart or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, or a pumpkin. Or a pumpkin. Super fall. You could probably do a pumpkin and then kind of like put an apple slice at the top <gasps> for a stem. Oh, I just I thought of it. that just now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Martha Stewart. She's here with us. Who oh. knew? <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. So this is all layered out as nicely as I could do. Beautiful. And, oh, we've got to chop up these, uh, we've got to break pretzels. up the pretzels too. Yeah, Here, so what I did break. with these is, I'll start putting, can I put, take... start putting the apple slices on here? So I think they, you oh, lay it with the pretzels first. first. I should have started with this, sorry guys. I'm jumping ahead. You crush the pretzels, so you could use whatever you have. I'm Nifty. using my measuring cup. We're very resourceful here on CT Buzz. And That's listen, great. you could leave the full one if you want, but the recipe we chose calls to crunch them up. So that's what we are doing. That's great. Yeah, you could do them bigger or smaller. And we did find this on TikTok, right, Jill? TikTok. People are loving it. We love TikTok and you know, recipes. We, that's what we do. We scroll TikTok for you and uh, we give it a whirl, see if it's actually worth the hype or not. Yeah, I, this one's, I think this is gonna be worth the hype. I, I think mean, so. who can argue with apples? Perfect, All I right. think that is good. Our producer's telling us where we gotta get going. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so I'm grabbing the pretzels. <laughs> so we're putting those pretzels on. Next, the apples can go as well as the caramel, so I will get the caramel. Okay, perfect. And now you could mix the apples, or you're mixing with the apples and the caramel first. Is that what you do? Yes, but you could kind of probably put do a lot both of pretzels separate. in there. Awesome. So we'll put, actually, we'll do I'll them just do the apples separate. For now. Small bowl. Mm. Small bowl. Delicious. And the caramel, you kind of got to work quick because it hardens. Hardens very Which quickly. is good for the Which is good. After. But if you want the drizzle effect, you're going, <laughs> which we're not getting to. <laughs> That's the piece I want with all the caramel right there. Yes. Smack in I'm the being middle. very generous. You know what would be good on this is some like flaky sea salt. <gasps> I love sea salt. I love the combination fancy. of salty, of sweet. Awesome, okay. perfect. And you made one already, so let's pull that out so we can see the final product. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then what you do is you put this in the fridge, guys, for... Like 30 minutes, I think. 30 minutes. And then you re-drizzle it with chocolate and then Voila. an extra hour on top of that. Look at this. And look how beautiful. Delicious finished product. And then you just chop this up, right? Let's chop yeah, it up. Yeah, then you just chop it up. And